Premium quality football shirts at an extremely affordable price. Sound good? If so, check out the sponsor of today's video, jerseyfifa.com. You can see that I've sent these some shirts and they really are top quality. So make sure to click the link in the description to go find a shirt for yourself or perhaps as a gift for someone else. And you can now use code jerseyfifa at checkout for 10% off your order. That's code jerseyfifa at checkout for 10% off your order. I really do recommend their products, so go take a look. Now let's get into the analysis. So when Manchester United signed Donny van der Beek in the summer of 2020, there was quite a lot of optimism. However, it's pretty clear that the transfer simply has not worked because he spent pretty much the last two years sitting on the bench. To try and get a bit more game time, Van Der Beek did go on loan to Everton in January, and to be fair, he did make a reasonably decent start, and was actually getting some decent game time. However, unfortunately, his season was ended by injury. Obviously, things have gone horribly wrong for Van Der Beek since he made the move to England, but he will now be hoping for a fresh start with Eric Ten Hag coming into the club, because it was of course Ten Hag that got the best out of him as a player at Ajax. Now, whilst I think that is certainly a possibility, there is still one major issue, and that is the fact that Bruno Fernandes is still ahead of him in the pecking order, and United are about to sign Eriksen as well, so there is a lot of competition. Unfortunately for Donny, I do think he would probably still be behind those two, but today I want to take a bit of an in-depth look at how he could potentially be used by Eric Ten Hag next season, because there may still be hope for him. So the first thing I want to talk about is Van Der Beek's ability to play as the solo holding midfielder in the 6 role, because this is something I've seen fans talking about over the past few seasons, and there was a spell where he played there for Ajax. Now I don't want to spend too much time on this one because I think the answer is quite blunt, and that is just no, I don't think Van Der Beek can play as the solo pivot for the United midfield. He has so many attributes, but I just don't think it's the right balance. Another position that Van Der Beek could potentially play in is more of an 8 role, where he could almost play as a box-to-box -box midfielder. So let's take a look at whether or not I think he could play this role for Manchester United next season. So first things first, this is an area where Ten Hag used Donny van der Beek in the past, and it's actually where Donny spent his last season at Ajax, often playing alongside Ryan Gravenberch in a double pivot. So he certainly could play that sort of role. So if Van der Beek was to play in this sort of role, then I think he could be a really good player to help United play their way out from the press, thanks to his quality on the ball, making him the ideal player to drop deep and link with the passing. This passing ability would also help United in other areas as well, because he is an extremely safe passer, meaning that if he was to play in this sort of midfield role, then he would be able to help United keep the ball and really take control of games. If this was the case, then Van der Beek could be used as a possession cycle point, where he holds a slightly deeper position in the midfield, providing a constant passing option on the ball, again allowing United to dominate. From this position, Donny would also occasionally be able to push further forward to join the attack, because ultimately that is his more natural game, so it would benefit him if he was given this extra bit of freedom to cover ground up and down the pitch. As well as helping the team on the ball, Van der Beek is also more than willing to help from a defensive point of view as well, and that's something we really started to see at times last season, and it's backed up by these match stats on screen here. I'm also sure that Van der Beek will have learned more about the defensive side of the game whilst he was at Everton, because he was often playing in a two-man midfield, meaning that there was a much bigger defensive demand, and in general he played pretty well. Probably my main concern about playing Van der Beek in this sort of position is that he isn't particularly progressive on the ball. He isn't a player that really wants to carry the ball forward, nor does he really look to move the ball forward through the lines, so that is a concern. Now, to be fair, there are ways that Manchester United could look to work around this by playing a ball progressor alongside him, allowing Donny to be the safer option in possession, or someone like Dion could play as the more progressive player. This is of course a duo that we have seen before, and honestly it would be incredible to see the two of them linking up once again, because at Ajax they were simply sensational thanks to their brilliant understanding with each other, so it certainly would be great to see. In possession, I do think that would be a midfield duo that would work and really dominate against most teams, thanks to the pure ability on the ball. However, from a defensive point of view, I don't think it works, because Donny needs to play with a ball winner. So to finish off on this point, do I think Donny van der Beek could play in a sort of 8 role for Manchester United? Yes I do, I think he has most of the attributes that are required from a defensive point of view and on the ball as well. However, if we're assuming that De Jong is coming into the club to play alongside him, then I just don't really think it works, because they are both good players who need more of a ball winner alongside them, so for me I don't think that the balance is there. Now finally, the last position that Van Der Beek could play in is more of an advanced midfield role, almost playing as a number 10, where he would really be one of the key attacking players in the Manchester United attacking setup. 
Now, if Eric Ten Hag walks up to Donny and tells him that he is going to be playing as a number 10 next season, then it really would be music to the ears of Donny van der Beek, because ultimately this has always been his best position on a football pitch. Now the weird thing about when Donny plays in this position is that he isn't actually a very creative player, and if he was to come into a team and replace Bruno Fernandes, then he would be bringing something very different to the team, because he isn't an out and out creator. Now whilst Donny may not bring too much to the team in terms of creativity, I do think that he will once again look to help Manchester United keep the ball, and help United to really dictate the game, because once again he is always a safe option on the ball. Now don't worry, Donny would also bring much more than just safety in possession, because in the final third his movement is absolutely incredible, and whilst he won't create with his passing, his movement alone can really mess with defences. Just to quickly interrupt, a few weeks ago the channel got a new logo, so I wanted to shout out the designer, because since getting a more professional look the channel has grown massively, so I really do highly recommend that you go check them out, because he is extremely talented, so make sure to get a new logo for yourself. So getting back to the analysis and the best way to get the most out of Donny van der Beek would be to play with a false 9 up front, someone who is willing to drop slightly deeper, leaving room higher up the pitch for van der Beek to exploit. It was in this sort of position that van der Beek produced his best ever season in terms of numbers and just all round performances, as he managed to grab himself 17 goals and 13 assists in all competition, playing as the number 10. Now this could be recreated at Manchester United, because it does look like Ten Hag is going to be using creative wingers, with players like Sancho and maybe someone like Anthony playing out wide, looking to be the real creative output. If that was the case then it would give Donny more freedom, because he wouldn't be expected to be the chief creator for the team, and instead he would be given the license to make runs off the ball, really playing to his strengths as a player. The question now is whether or not it will happen, for the last few seasons we have been speculating about different ways he could fit into the team, but he is now at a point where he simply has to be playing football, especially now we're in a World Cup year. Now whilst I think Donny has all of the attributes to make it at Manchester United as the main number 10, I'm just not sure how it can happen with players like Bruno Fernandes and Eriksen expected to be at the club, I'm not sure how he fit them in. Now one way it could work would be to move one of them into a slightly wider area, and I'm confident that Eriksen in particular could play this sort of role, because it's actually where he often played for Spurs, so he could be used as a wide creator. He could actually play in almost a Dusan Tadic-esque sort of role, last season Tadic was used on the left hand side of the Ajax attack, and normally that wouldn't be his natural strength, however Ten Hag has proven that he can adapt players. The other position that Ten Hag used Tadic in was as the main striker in the team back in 2019, where he operated as a true false nine, so perhaps that's how he fit them in into the team at United, with Bruno being a false 9. This is probably the solution that would suit Donny the most. Donny could play as a number 10 with Bruno Fernandes playing as the false 9 up front, whilst Eriksen would perhaps be used as a bit more of a rotation player, playing from the bench. However, whilst I think that could certainly work, I just don't see Ten Hag setting his side up in that way. Bruno Fernandes has created so many chances over the past few seasons, so it's really difficult to change his position when he has produced so well. If Ten Hag agrees with this then we will see Donny van der Beek spending time on the bench again, and that would be really sad to see because he is such a wonderfully gifted footballer, and he deserves to play football, but it's going to be hard. Perhaps the only silver lining for van der Beek is that Ten Hag does like to rotate his team quite a lot, so even if Donny is starting matches on the bench, then he would still get plenty of game time, because Ten Hag likes to use his squad as much as possible. So, time to summarise now, and I think we all agree that van der Beek's best position on a football pitch is as the most advanced midfielder, but unfortunately Bruno Fernandes is brilliant in that position, so Donny may have to be backup. The other option for van der Beek would be to play in a slightly deeper position, but again I think we would find himself behind Frankie de Jong in the pecking order, even in this deeper area, so again I think he'd find himself on the bench. So yeah, that's kind of the summary, van der Beek is an incredible footballer who really has the potential to succeed at Manchester United in a few different positions. The problem is United could end the summer quite strong in the areas that Donny wants to play. So it looks like another year with limited minutes, but we'll have to wait and see. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one.